Come along with us as we tour Bach Tower Gardens in Lake Wells, Florida. We took a chance The sunshine and stormy weather God had a plan And now the world is our treasure It's our blessed adventure It's our blessed adventure We just arrived at Bach Tower Gardens and uh, we're going to go check out some of the flowers and some of the gardens. I'm excited to check this out. I'll be taking lots of flower pictures. It's pretty already and a beautiful aroma already. Got these here all out at the entrance. Those are beautiful. We used to grow those at the house. Well, maybe not. That looks like... I think it's an azalea, but that looks more of a tree. Not sure. A gardener, I am not. Oh, I just got a whiff of the flowers. My sinuses sometimes don't cooperate. Ooh, now I smell them. Beautiful. Smell nice. Kim's favorite friends over here in a bronze form. Wow, smell the honeysuckle. As we came into the entryway, I admired this hand-laid stone patio. It was very intricate where every stone was laid out by hand and it followed a really nice line and pattern. I knew that took a lot of work so it was something to, to admire. Once again we were trying out our new microphone for the GoPro and just like the last time we lost all our sound. So I think this is going to be the last time we try this mic setup. I think we're going to have to try something new. Bach Tower Gardens is a 250 acre complex that is centered around the Singing Tower, which inside the Singing Tower, it houses a carillon, which is a 60 bell musical instrument. Bach Towers also has uh, their resident Carillon player is a gentleman who is there on a regular basis and plays music for the visitors to Block Tower Gardens. The music is played on an uh, instrument that similar, that's very similar to uh, like playing a piano, but it, it plays the bells that are located inside the tower. Uh, not too far from the tower, they have an area that's set aside that has a screen where they have cameras inside the tower. And you can sit there and view the Caroline player as he plays. And it's pretty neat to watch because you're not allowed to visit inside the tower. So it's a way to see the, the gentleman playing the tunes and while you listen um, to his performance. The music you'll be hearing in the background is the resident Caroline player playing the Caroline uh, while we were visiting Bach Tower Gardens. The tower at Bach Towers that houses the Carillon is 205 feet tall and it is a masterpiece of architecture.
On one side of the tower is a brass door that depicts the uh, scenes of creation. And when the sun is just right, the reflection off the water of the door is just beautiful. On the opposite side of the tower is a beautifully created sundial. As you walk away from the tower toward the back of the property, there's a beautiful sprawling landscape where you can look out and see views for miles. It was breathtaking to be able to walk back and look over all the beautiful scenery that you could capture from that property. There was a beautiful pond or a moat area that surrounded the tower that was stocked with beautiful koi fish. The kids garden area was a great educational area where kids could learn about agriculture and growing uh, vegetables and plants. And then a short distance away from the kids garden uh, was the kitchen and also a fantastic playground area that if small kids were with you, they would be loving it the way they can climb over the rocks. Inside the endangered plant garden was this cool sundial. You walked up to the month uh, that, it, that it was at the time 
and your shadow was cast on the time of day. As you see, I walked up to March and my shadows cast on three o'clock and it was exactly three o'clock when we did it. So we all were pretty fascinated and we took turns checking out the sundial and make sure it worked, of course, for each one of us. And of course it did, because at three o'clock, that's the way your shadow would be cast. The paths leading throughout Box Gardens were beautifully landscaped, and I'm sure throughout different parts of the year, there were different flowers in bloom. So if you visit at various times of the year, you would get a different look every time you walk through the gardens. We worked our way over to Pinewood Estates. Pinewood Estates is a home that was built by the original owner of uh, Bach Towers property. It was built back in the 1930s and it is a 20 room home that is located on seven and a half acres of uh, the Bach Towers property. And it is a beautifully landscaped uh, residence. The backyard view here at the estates was absolutely stunning. Pinewoods Estates was our last stop as we toured through Bach Gardens. If you're into the garden scene, or even if you're not, Bach Towers is a great place to visit.
We hope you enjoyed some of the beauty that we enjoyed while visiting Bach Towers. We ask you to give us a thumbs up, like our video, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to push that subscribe button. Like we told you in the past, it doesn't cost you anything, and if you push the little bell once you subscribe, it will notify you when we put up new videos.